You're watching America's healthiest TV show, Health Corner, with host Joan London, plus Chef MD Dr. John LaPuma, and Fitness with Kathy Smith. Today on Health Corner, New York Giants quarterback Eli Manning helps children discover what moves them. Plus, want to get fit? Find a partner. Fitness pioneer Kathy Smith explains. Today on Chef MD, don't eat beets? You'll change your mind and your heart when you try my warm beet salad with fresh tarragon and blue cheese. Health Corner is a sponsored program brought to you by Walgreens. There's a way to stay well. Now from our studios in New York. Hi, I'm Joan London and welcome to Health Corner. Today's show is all about doing more to get and stay healthy. And if you're like most people, you've done the gym, you've sweated along with the videos and walked and jogged mile after mile. So why does nothing seem to work? Well, maybe it's because you're doing it alone. Here's a look at what fitness pioneer Kathy Smith is doing to change all that. Drop it down, explode. For 12 weeks this past year, I got to lead 200 people in weekly workouts as part of NextFit's 12 Weeks to Change Your Life program. Everyone came with different fitness levels and different goals. I'm currently looking to lose about 50 pounds, and I've lost 20 so far in the last nine weeks with the Kathy Smith Challenge that we're doing, and uh, I feel great. I want to get healthy. <laughs> boom! Boom! Now, there's no doubt working out with a group means support and accountability. There's also structure. Every week we met in the park in Sandy, Utah, and you could just feel the motivation. The crowd is just energy. I'm, it's unbelievable. With a group, you're more likely to stay on track because of peer pressure. And a lot of group classes work for the entire family. Even pets came to our class. There's been a lot of times where I've left the field with tears in my eyes because you look around and you've got you know, a 70-year-old man on one side and a child on another and people with babies in their strollers. You can really push past the plateau if you work out with the group. The trainer may encourage you to pick up the pace and your friends around you won't let you slack off. It's very motivational, extremely motivational. The trainers get up right next to you and tell you to move it. <laughs> Smile. I love group exercise mainly because it's just plain fun. I'm Kathy Smith. And here's to your health. Thanks so much to Health Corner's very own fitness guru, Kathy Smith. And you can learn more about the benefits of group exercise by visiting the Health Corner website. And Kathy Smith's workouts are mostly geared to adults, but adolescents and teens and young adults also need to focus on fitness. Studies show that when children are active early on, then they continue to be active throughout their life. And that reduces their risk for heart disease, diabetes, and cancer. And now here's Megan Sinclair with a 20-something perspective on fitness. Hi, Megan. Thanks, Joan. When you're in your 20s, it's easy to get caught up in the idea that being fit means you need to look like the models and celebrities shown on magazine covers. Let's get real. It's a waste of energy comparing your body to others, dreaming about the fantasy. It'll just intimidate you out of taking smaller steps toward good health. And believe it or not, it's the 18 to 29-year-olds that need to take those steps. While it might seem like the 20-somethings are the ones crowding the bike paths and hitting the gym, according to a recent government survey, about one-third of our age group doesn't exercise at all. In fact, in the past three decades, obesity rates have tripled among college-educated young adults. So why are well-educated young adults packing on the pounds? First, our generation is consuming significantly more calories than we're burning, largely thanks to fast food. The good news is that cutting back just 250 calories a day, the equivalent of a can of soda or a small bag of chips, can make a big difference in the long run. Desk jobs are another culprit. Technology allows us to video conference, text, and email in a virtual world instead of getting up and moving through the real one. And not to mention the time we spend couch surfing in front of the tube. So make an effort to get your body moving. That's right, use it so you don't lose it. It doesn't matter if you do yoga or just take a stroll, as long as you put in at least 30 minutes of moderate exercise five days a week. Remember, being fit should be about health and not vanity. So make some changes now and you'll be on your way to living a long life that's more fit. For Health Corner, I'm Megan Sinclair. Thanks, Megan. When we come back, meet football superstar Eli Manning and learn how he's motivating boys and girls to move.
Walgreens invites you to stay well this new year. With the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention saying that vaccination is still your best protection, Walgreens and Take Care Clinics now offer H1N1 flu vaccinations every day at our more than 7,000 locations nationwide for just $18. So stop in today. Walgreens, there's a way to stay well. SUV, you're getting a ticket. How to get your coffee in five minutes. How to fight cancer in five minutes. Just log on to cancer.org slash great Americans and answer a few questions. You'll get the information you need to help reduce your cancer risk. This is the American Cancer Society. Welcome back to Health Corner. Eli Manning is one of the most valuable players on the football field, and to thousands of school-age boys and girls, he is leading the charge in the fight against childhood obesity. Here's Health Corner correspondent Sarah Welch with that story. When the New York Giants play, they're out to win. Practice sessions like this one gear up the team and, of course, the fans. Their dreams of another championship season led by quarterback Eli Manning. Hey, watch number 80, watch number 80. Hey, hey. Yeah, I'd be a good role model, and, and people are going to look up to me and, and see how I'm acting or what I'm doing. Eli strives to be a role model both on and off the field. It's harder on kids these days just because, you know, we didn't have all the, the technology. We didn't have a, uh, these, these high-tech, uh, you know, games you could play on your computer, with internet, um, you know, the games you can play on your TV, and, and then you hear how, you know, that physical education is not in schools anymore, and uh, kids aren't getting outside and playing sports and exercising, and, and uh, you know, it's, it's uh, a shame, and, and, and something needs to be done. So he's stepping up, knowing 9 million American children are overweight or obese, a number that has tripled since 1980. Hey, you! Get out here! Manning is visiting schools, going one-on-one -on -one with children, getting them excited about exercise, asking them... So what moves you? The, the What Moves You program has, has been special for me just because, uh, you know, I work with kids and uh, trying to get them uh, to find something that they're passionate about and, and something that uh, they can be active, get them outside, get them running around. To accomplish this, Manning and his team partnered with the American Heart Association to bring the What Moves You Play 60 program to middle schools across the country, encouraging every child to engage in at least 60 minutes of active play every day. It's trying to just try to uh, give them ideas of how they can uh, not only have fun but be uh, physically active uh, and just the, the uh, benefits of, of doing that. Eli Manning and his team are so committed to passing along this information because the statistics are alarming. One study found as many as 80% of children who are overweight between the ages of 10 and 15 became obese adults by the time they reached the age of 25. I, I hate to see a child who's um, you know, who's sick or illness, especially if, especially if it can be treatable just by, you know, getting exercise. So he's also encouraging parents to take charge and be a role model when it comes to healthy eating and exercise. I think it's a, a real challenge to their parents to look out for your children's health, uh, what they're eating, their exercise, uh, and I think they'll find out it's it's not only good for, you know, for, for their, just their health, but it'll be good for their mind, their body, and everything. A game plan Eli Manning and the NFL believe is a winning combination. For Health Corner, I'm Sarah Welch. What a great story, and I'm so impressed that Eli has the time and energy to give back so much. You can learn more about what moves you by visiting the Health Corner website. All right, don't you just love the wonderful flavor of fresh vegetables and herbs? But of course, this time of year, it's not always easy to find them, unless, of course, you grow your own. Here's teen reporters Michaela and Gabby to show us just how easy that is. Hi, girls. You know, Joan, not everyone can plant a garden outside. That's why we have a great alternative for you, indoor gardening. It's fun, and you can plant year-round. To get started, figure out what types of plants and supplies you'll need. We decided to grow an herb garden. We found one online that comes with everything we need, right down to the dirt. 
Once you put everything together, all you have to do is wait for the plants to grow. The best part about this style of indoor garden is that it comes with its own sunshine, a built-in sun lamp. That way, you can put it anywhere in the house. But if you decide to create your own indoor garden the old-fashioned way, all you need is a sturdy container, soil, and your plants. Once everything is planted, find a nice windowsill or plant stand where your garden can grow. Add some greenery to your home this winter. Maybe it'll help the season to go a little faster. For Go Green, I'm Michaela Powell. And I'm Gabby Powell. See you next time. Thanks, girls. Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, ADHD, makes it hard to control behavior. It affects about 10 million Americans, and diagnosing it can be tricky. But now there's a new test available. Let's learn more from our parenting expert, Jill Rep. Yes, that's right, Joan. Today we'll meet a family who has benefited from this new technology that provides much needed answers to worried parents. I just thought it was Charles, you know, that I could correct it. But when, I, when they told me that he could not help it, running into a wall or running into somebody, then I knew that we had a problem. In the past, diagnosing ADHD was challenging because doctors had to rely on parent and teacher observations. Now there's a more objective tool. The quotient system, which originated at Harvard Medical School, measures motion and attention to give hard data on core symptoms. The quotient system gives us a very digestible way to give parents a graphing of their child's symptoms, strengths and weaknesses, looking at focus, concentration, fidgetiness, restlessness, motion overall in order to help them really understand where treatment can be helpful for their particular child's symptoms. The machine uses infrared sensors to measure a child's responses to visual stimuli. How much did he move around? Did he answer questions correctly or impulsively? The problem is that self-esteem can go down very quickly and mood struggles can go up, so we really want to be accurate in diagnosing. When he got on the medicine, everything went normal, and he's doing very well in school now. Thanks, Jill. Stay with us, because a little later, I'll be looking into what all those dates on food products really mean. What does hope look like? Sometimes it's a hug or a laugh, and sometimes it's a future without worry. But most of all, hope looks like these children and me who live with type 1 diabetes. The Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation continues to accelerate the crucial research that represents the real hope for a cure for millions of children and adults. Their hope is boundless, and with your help, we'll find a cure. Next week on Health Corner. Breast Cancer Authority Dr. Susan Love explains why we need to go beyond a cure. We don't have to have breast cancer anymore. We can stop it. From victims to survivors, the Burns triplets share their incredible story. We had each other to help us get through it. I'm making a filling, protein-rich, easy-on-the-insulin-level Italian-American classic, just like my grandma used to make. All that and so much more Sunday, airing on Lifetime. Welcome back to Health Corner. I'm Joan London. I'm told Chef MD Dr. John LaPuma is looking for some new talent in the produce aisle. Hi, John. What's going on? Hey, Joan. Want to meet a true rock star of the vegetable world? Meet the Beats. I know. It's hard to stay calm, isn't it? Well, underneath the rough exterior is a twist and shout inside. And beets are sweet. In the end, they have the highest sugar content of all vegetables, yet there's only 74 calories in a cup. The pigment that makes beets crimson red is called beta cyan. It protects against cancer by activating enzymes in the liver that help detoxify carcinogens. It can also increase the oxygen capacity of the blood by an amazing 400%, which improves organ function and gives you more energy even for a hard day's night. That's just the beginning. Beets can help your heart keep the beat, too. Adding beets to your diet can make living easy and improve stamina. Beets create nitric oxide in the body to dilate blood vessels and lower blood pressure. 
good thing that the Food is Medicine rock star in my chevenly approved roasted beet and beet green salad with blue cheese and tarragon. Thanks, Dr. John. We will see you in the kitchen in just a little while. And you can get Chef MD's fantastic beet recipe in your email. Just go to the Health Corner website and click on Healthy Recipes to sign up. Now, when you care for someone who has epilepsy, you have to maintain a constant vigilance. And it's a real challenge, but of course not without its rewards. Here's one family story. I'm Jamie Ardondo, and this is my husband, Jeremy Brunk. We've been married for almost five and a half years, and we have a daughter, and she is diagnosed with epilepsy. Susie's three, and she loves animals. She's very outgoing, I think. She just has a magnetic personality. It, it certainly turns your world upside down. I mean, it's nothing, there's no family history, that's nothing that we expected. And now we're labeled with this diagnosis and realize that it's something that we're gonna have to deal with for the rest of our lives. It was, it was an absolute shock. Because she is developmentally delayed and she has these diagnoses, it's really given us the ability to appreciate the little milestones that she does reach. It's literally a celebration. Like we had a first step party, we, yeah. we had a crawling party, and we're still waiting for our first word party. I've had friends that were pregnant at the same time, and so it's hard to see, oh, they're talking, they're telling mom I love you, and I, I don't get that. So I think that adjustment's been a little rough, but it's hard. As a dad, as long as she's number one safe and uh, number two happy, that's really all I can ask for. Learn more about epilepsy and resources for caregivers by visiting the Health Corner website. Are you trying to lose weight? It seems millions of people are on a new diet or exercise plan, but not always getting results. Some people benefit from weight loss prescription medications, but are they right for you? Let's find out from our Walgreens pharmacist, John Jenkins. Hi, John. How are you doing, Joan? Weight loss medications can particularly benefit people whose BMI or body mass index is over 27 or who have obesity-related conditions. Most weight loss medications are appetite suppressants, which work by tricking the body into believing it's full. They work by increasing serotonin or catecholamine, two brain chemicals that affect your appetite. Meridia is one example of an appetite suppressant. There's also fentermine, which works by stimulating the hypothalamus gland and affecting certain neurotransmitters to decrease appetite. And there's a newer type that blocks fat, right? In a way, yes. They're called fat absorption inhibitors, and they work by preventing your body from breaking down and absorbing some of the fat in your meals. Xenical is the only fat absorption inhibitor currently approved for use by the FDA. What kind of risks come from these medications? Many of the risks are typical of most medications. The potential for addiction, developing a tolerance which reduces effectiveness, and side effects. Products that inhibit fat absorption may also block absorption of vitamins. So taking a multivitamin may be recommended. Also, check with your doctor or pharmacist so you can make an informed decision about what might be best for you. All right, great information. Thanks so much, John. My pleasure, Joan. Every decade brings new challenges and new opportunities. Your age, well, it's just a number. So don't overreact as you approach another birthday. Celebrate it. Embrace all the wonderful changes in your life. And most important, take control. Here's how. Be trend conscious and age appropriate with how you dress. Always choose clothes that fit, not the size you think you should be. Go for classic styles you can update with a trendy accessory or two every season. If your vision isn't quite what it used to be, don't worry. Designer style reading glasses are a creative way to make your look that much more interesting. A cute pair of eyewear says a lot about who you are. Update your look with a new hairstyle and color. Choose a color that complements your skin tone and decide if you're better off with single process or highlights. Consult with your stylist or choose someone new to help you make that change. And finally, get in shape. Walk, run, work out, do Pilates or yoga. They're all good for your health and your figure. When you embrace all the wonderful changes in your life and take control, you'll always have that certain something. For Health Corner, I'm Florida Perry Smith. Which products are right for you? Ask your Walgreens Beauty Advisor for help. They have the knowledge and expertise you need to look and feel your best.
In today's Safety Minute, we are talking about food expiration dates. Are they legit or should we ignore them? It's probably happened to you. You pull something out of the fridge or the pantry. You look at the date and it's expired. So do you use it or toss it? Well, according to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, the expiration date does not really tell you if something's safe to eat or not. So what do all these dates on our foods really mean? First, you need to understand that there are three different phrases that you'll see most often on many food products. The sell-by date, which tells stores how long to keep an item stocked on their shelves. When it says best if used by or before, the item should be used by this date to ensure best quality. And when it says use by, this is the date to use a product before its quality starts to decline. Here's something else that you need to know. Except for baby food, there are no federal dating standards. So what the dates mean actually varies state to state. So it's up to you to use your best judgment. A few rules of thumb. Seven days is long enough for most perishable foods in the refrigerator. Bacteria can't grow in freezing temperatures, so freezing something will keep the bacteria away. Use your nose. If it doesn't smell right, it probably isn't, so toss it. And use your eyes. If something is off color or just doesn't look right, get rid of it. No amount of dating or freezing can keep bacteria away if you don't follow food preparation guidelines like cooking meat to specific temperatures and defrosting foods properly. So bottom line, use expiration dates as general guidelines and then be your own best judge when it comes to knowing which foods are safe for you and your family. We've got more Health Corner coming up, so stay with us. You heard me say it before, strength training is one of the best things you can do for your body. Muscle mass burns more calories than fat. Strength training also helps maintain bone mass as we age, and it also improves flexibility and balance. And you don't have to go to a gym and sweat it out with the big boys to get results. Here are a few things you can pick up just about anywhere and keep at home for some great workouts. Try wrist weights for the arms and upper body, and then get some ankle weights for the thighs and legs. Now these are great for doing lots of repetitions. Kettlebell exercises can increase strength, power, and agility, and they're fun to use. I love resistance bands because you can target so many different muscles and you can adjust them to any fitness level. So if you shorten it up, you can really feel that resistance. Now, lengthen it back out and it gets a little easier. And last, get a few small hand weights. You know, there's so many exercises you can do with just a three, five, and 10 pound weight. So build a home gym and build some muscle. I'm Kathy Smith and here's to your health. Looking for the secret to losing weight and keeping it off? Find out how at kathysmith.com. It's a free radical scavenging detoxifier that's sweetly delicious. We'll use beets and their tasty greens in a warm salad with tangerines and blue cheese. Coming up. Pace yourself. Be aware of your surroundings. Don't ignore obvious signs. Stay hydrated at all times. Get plenty of fresh air and sunshine. And don't worry, lots of people live active lives with asthma. Answers and advice to help you get well and stay well. Walgreens, there's a way to stay well. Learn more at walgreens.com slash health. Come on, Grandpa. I want to be late for the bus. At Walgreens, we want everyone to stay well. That's why we launched the AARP Walgreens Wellness Tour. It brings millions of free health screenings, including glucose, blood pressure, cholesterol, and bone density to people across the country. How'd you do on your test, Grandpa? Passed with flying colors. Visit us online to find out when we'll be near you. Walgreens, there's a way to stay well. Today, I have a savory, sweet, and satisfying salad that will rock your family's world. It's my Chef MD approved roasted beet and beet green salad with blue cheese and tarragon. And it's very easy. Let me show you how to get started. We're going to spritz the beets that I've already done, and I'll come back and talk about that in a moment with a little bit of 
extra virgin olive oil, a little bit of Chef MD extra virgin olive oil, and bring the onion and the beets to the stove because beet greens are easier to eat when they're cooked. Add the olive oil to the pan. Add the onion. That's the right sound. And then the greens. Move this around a little bit. That's what saute means actually. To cook quickly in a little bit of oil. And while those are cooking, let me show you. I've already got some beets roasted in the oven. Notice they've darkened too. Isn't that great? Watch. Add a little bit of sherry vinegar to the beets. They will absorb that little bit of tang and set off a sweet and sour thing that's really awesome in this salad. Now, check on the greens. The beet greens are wilted and the onion is getting soft. I'm going to add a little bit of fresh tarragon right into the pan. Tarragon we're adding not just for its licorice leaf flavor, but because it too is very high in anti-inflammatories and antioxidants. Most herbs are. Now for our beets. These are cool enough to add right on top. Maybe a little more tarragon on top. And garnish with beautiful tangerine sections right on top. That sweet sour tang gives you not just more vitamin C, but extra flavor with a little bit of crumbled blue cheese. And the crumbled blue cheese adds, believe it or not, 120 milligrams of calcium to this barely 200 calorie salad, which you can be proud to serve almost any time. Black pepper, and we're ready to go, just like downtown. For the complete recipe, check out our website. And remember, the fountain of youth starts in the kitchen. Chantani, may you live 100 years. For Chef MD, I'm Dr. John LaPuma. Mmm, I should warm. Learn more about culinary medicine today. Order Chef MD's Big Book of Culinary Medicine at chefmd.com and sign up for free weekly recipe emails while you're there. So, are y'all revved up and ready to move after today's show? Getting and staying fit is one of the best things you can do for yourself and for the people you love. So get out there and move. And thanks for watching America's healthiest TV show. I'm Joan London, and remember, there's a way to stay well. Next week on Health Corner. From victims to survivors, the Burns triplets share their incredible story. Nothing smells better than roasted chicken and sweet potatoes. All satisfy your hunger and control your weight with a dish that explodes with flavor. Corner is a sponsored program brought to you by Walgreens.